What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to create invoices on PayPal and send them to your client. PayPal offers you great tools to create professional looking invoices to send them to your clients to uh, collect payments and you can change all the settings and add discounts if you want to. You can add also or uh, create recurring uh, invoices like for recurring payments and so much more. So you have full control over your invoices, the invoices that you create and send to your client. And in this video, I'll show you step by step how to create the invoice that one professionally and uh, send it to your client. So it's pretty easy to do. Let's go right to it. Now here I have a uh, PayPal. Uh, I'm on the PayPal website. That's PayPal.com, and I'm signed into my account. And here, that is my main homepage. And from there, you have the option to create an invoice. So uh, keep in mind that that is a personal account, not a business account. And for a business account, the uh, location of the option here to create an invoice might uh, change a bit. However, you should uh, be able to find it easily. So let's click on create an invoice and it'll open our invoice page. So uh, here it is uh, named new invoice number uh, 0001. So um, here, let's go through the setting. So first of all, you can click here to add a logo to add like a an image. You can upload an image uh, of the logo of your company here. And you can click here to on this uh, like arrow to change your business info, like your email, your address and so on. And here you have a template. You have many templates. You have like a amount only and hours if you are working an hourly rating or uh, like quantity if you are selling like a quantity of some items. Okay, and you can change the currency here. So it's uh, currently set to euros. You can change to uh, US dollars and any other con uh, like currency from these available currencies. And you can bill to a single customer or to multiple customers. So here you can bill to multiple customers. Here you will enter the email address or the name of your customer. If it is saved here, you can find it in the drop down menu or you can add a new customer here. Okay. And here you can uh, customize like the uh, items like you can choose here. We have uh, the quantity. We chose the template as quantity. We have many fields where like we have discount. You can add a discount field. You can add a date field. You have the description and the text field already. Uh, available. Okay. As you can see here, the discount field is now available. So the item name, let's say uh, test service. So it's a digital service. Okay. The quantity is one. The price is like, um, let's say 20 euros. And the tax, you can add tax here. Okay. Enter tax name and rate and description. So we will not add it for now. So let's say you want to create a discount. So like 10%. You can create a percentage or like uh, a set uh, amount. So like uh, make a five euros discount and so on. So here I'll make it a percentage and 10% it two euros. As you can see here, the subtotal is 20. So like on the right, you will find uh, the like summary of the invoice. We'll go through that uh, a bit later. So you can add a description. So like uh, this is for the digital editing service. Okay. And you can add here, you can add rows, other rows if you want to. Here you have um, like, uh, if you have another item, so you can add also another item with quantity, price, discount, and tax and description if you want to. Uh, you can delete it if uh, so you can have only one item. So let's close it for now. And we have only one item, which is the 20 euros. You can click here to add items or services. So a message to the customer. So uh, it'll be like, thank you for uh, doing business with me. Okay. You can add terms and conditions and you can add the reference number if you want to. And here you have some more options. You can upload a file to send it directly to the customer. You can add a memo to uh, yourself if you want to. Now, here on the right, you will find the summary. So the invoice number is uh, automatically uh, generated. However, you can change it to like uh, only uh, one if you want to. You can set a date for the invoice. So to be sent 
uh, like day or you can send another date and the invoice will be due on receipt or uh, no due date you can specify specify no date or on a specific date that you specify here this date due date or uh, in 10 days 15 30 45 60 and 90 days so um, let's see in 30 days uh, you can add here in the summary you have the discount the 10 percent discount that we added you can add another discount if you want to so if you want to create an additional discount for this uh, customer so like three euros let's make it a euro this time so three euros discount you can add shipping if this is like a physical item so let's for example add a 10, uh, 10 euros uh, shipping fee however this is not a physical item uh, i specified that this was a service the shipping tax uh, you can add a shipping tax however let's keep it as a no tax for now and here you have the total excluding the tax uh, the total is like the 20 euros minus 2 uh, the 10 percent discount minus 3 euros the discount plus 10 euros for shipping that's 25 euros so here you have the option to allow partial payments so you can uh, allow the customer to pay like part of the uh, payment and like pay you uh, the rest uh, later so let's uh, let's say we can accept a minimum payment of 15 euros and you can click here to allow a tip so that you can allow the customer to pay you extra of the 25 so that if the customer is like very satisfied with the service and they want to pay you extra fees so you can give them the option to do so now once you uh, filled in all the details here and you are happy with how your um, invoice uh, looks like you can save it and schedule the invoice or you can click on the i here to preview and you can get more actions here you can share link to invoice so you can like create a link and send the link to the customer directly like by email or something like that or save it as a draft to uh, come back later and edit it or save it as a template so that is uh, pretty handy now you can click here to preview the invoice okay now the invoice is uh, generated and here uh, this is like a copy of the invoice that your customer where your customer will uh, receive you can see here the uh, in the total amount they can they have the option to, to pay like in full amount or pay the minimum amount that we uh, specified and to add a tip if they want to and they can select the payment method and here you have the like summary of the invoice with the discounts and everything so you can uh, the however this is a draft it says that this is a draft you can send it right away or as i told you you can save it as a draft download it as a pdf to send it directly by email or generate a link and so on so uh, these are the options that are available for uh, creating an invoice so that was like a quick overview on how to create an invoice using paypal